how much we are polluting. We are polluting the sea, we are polluting the forest, whatever that is, deforesting the forest. So today we don't find the animals anywhere. So here the poet was trying to picturize some of the animals in the poem, such as tiger, uh, white bear, sparrow, and the waves. So these are the animals which are at the ed edge of the extinction. Today, if we don't take care of these animals, tomorrow in the coming generation, next today, and we may not able to see these last animals which are at the extinction. So it is our bounden duty to look after these animals. The generation which are going to come behind us, and they too should experience, they too should see in reality what is this tiger, what is this bear and sparrow on the way. And they too get experience as we are getting experienced. If we don't take care of those animals today or looked after properly today and next coming generation, they may not be able to see those animals. At most, we may, we have to show those children in the pictures, in the form of pictures. In reality, they may not know what, how it is, how the tiger used to be, how these whales used to be, all those things the children may not be able to know. So it is high time for us to look after these animals because animals are also part and parcel of the environment. Today we the human beings think we are the only one who, is, who wants to live in this universe. We are neglecting, we are forgetting the nature is a part and parcel of our life. No, not like that. So without the nature, our life become miserable. So that is the highlighting point that we see, we see in the environment or in the dreamer wake up. Next, we have three villages, the polluted villages. So Cocoa village, that is first village where the people uh, used to take the water, get the water nearby the village. The main source of water, there is a lake, but that water was polluted by dumping the uh, big, big drums, oil drums. So those drums were busted because of the heat on that whatever the stuff which was inside the drums that was being polluted in the water and these people drank that water and many were suffered. So that is how this village got polluted. The village in the sense the people of the village. And next village, Punnimanturu village which is in India. So there the, uh, the business people came and told the villagers that if they could give their own land and they can provide employ uh, employment for their children and they can get they can earn a lot of money and these poor uneducated people believed the words of those uh, business people and they gave their own lands and finally the lands became a barren land and nothing can be cultivated the land was polluted and many people were affected by that so another village uh, Waraboy village where a nuclear reactor was blasted and because of the nuclear reactor blast, blasting, the radiation that was raised in the form of a dust and fell on everybody, especially the children who are playing there. And after that, once, once that dust fell on their body, after a week, their body started, the skin started coming out, the, like peeling of the skin. And that is how the children were affected. So like this, in these three villages, we see the poorest of the poor, were being cheated and their lands were polluted, their lives were taken away by the business people for their own selfish motive. So this is how we see the whole unit, the environment. So it is so important for us to take care of the environment, to lead happy life. So thank you. Thank you, Vananda.